as we come to the finale of the 2017 TCR Asia Series, four drivers are still in contention to become this year's champion. But with just two point scoring rounds left, which of the four will be the one driver left to take the trophy? At the moment, Thailand's Kantadi Kasuri leads the way at the moment with three wins and 150 points. But it's a slim lead, as in second place comes fellow Thai Tin Sri Tri with three wins and 139.5 points. Then just half a point behind him is Diego Moran, the fast and furious Ecuadorian. Just one win, but still in contention. And the fourth man is an early leader of the championship, Lai Wee Singh of Malaysia, 129 points. No wins, but Mr. Consistent. And to add to the drama, they're also at a brand new venue, the International Zhejiang Circuit, south of Shanghai. An anti-clockwise circuit with 16 turns, 3.2 kilometers, with elevation changes of almost 20 meters. This will be a massive challenge, especially with no data. Uh, the circuit is quite new. Everybody is first time here. I think the circuit is quite, in, uh, quite good. It was an uphill with a pit lane, about two story different. Also, I think it's hard to overtake this circuit. This one is, is, is a new track for TCI Asia and new track for me. And yeah, the, uh, the, the track is, is quite tricky. Uh, have a slow, uh, a lot of slow corner, and we have to. I have to improve in. I have to improve with the cars, and also with the with the with the track. I have to learn in every session. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's a very nice circuit, a very nice scenario. Everything nice. The track is also fun to drive. Very technical, I would say. Difficult to find uh, the line, but yeah, I'm happy. I like it, and yeah. I think we will have a very good race this weekend here in Shijian. Uh Shijian circuit is very difficult track. Uh, of course, in the inside, the track is small, small corner. It's very tough for me because in the in Thailand, have Buriram is high speed circuit, and the last round uh, TCI Asia is Shanghai. It's very, very high speed circuit. So Shijian is uh, like a very slow corner. It have a lot. So. I try to fix my, my diving uh, style. So for Zijiang, this is the first time. And as what we try on simulator, it's not the same as what we try down here. The circuit is a little bit tricky, much tricky. I think the circuit is quite fun, it's quite narrow, and you know, uh, not so much opportunity to overtake. And so I think qualifying would be very critical. With two free practices and two qualifying sessions, all the top contenders will be pushing hard. Let's talk to all four of them before they head out. Uh, and for the championships, now, now I'm leading by 10.5 points. And yeah, I, I, I hope to, 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 to keep my position and, and win the race for sure. And win in qualifying and take maximum points as much as I can. And yeah, I, I try to to keep my, 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 my pace and yeah, that's it. Yeah, for the championship point, I just just try my best. If I try my best already, let's see. If I have the champion, I'm a champion. But if not, if not, because Pussy is a good diver. So, uh, but everything is can possible in motorsport. I try my best this race to beat him and try to get the championship. That's the goal. But let's see, I mean, already very happy with my performance this year because it's my first year here in Asia. I didn't know the circuits, I didn't know the car, so I am quite happy already with, with my performance. This weekend we target top three. If see the weather, we try to push maximum we can and we want to target to win back the championship and the driver championship and the team championship. A big weekend for the R Engineering team from Malaysia. They have a chance of winning the overall TCR Asia Series and the Cup competition. They headed out for qualifying. Slightly misty and cold conditions. And after two free practices, everybody dialing themselves in, including the man in the Cup competition chasing Abdul Katir, Jasper Thong. There is Abdul. 
for our engineering, leading the way at the moment. But the fastest man was the elegant racing team of Alex Liu in the number 99. Tin Street Tribe going strong. The fastest time for Team Thailand in the Honda Civic of 135.162. Diego Moran was fourth quickest, just slightly slower in the Liquid Molly Team Ensler Volkswagen at 35.5. That was good enough for third, and in second place, the championship leader, his teammate, Kantani Kasuri, the Liquid Molly team, Ensler, with a 134.9, but the fastest man of all, Jean-Carl Varnay, in the international series, just getting used to the track and showing he's learnt it quick, a 134.580 to take the pole. Kantani Kasuri then leads the way for Asia with 34.9, then 35.1 by Citrai Moran and Andy Yan. Last year's champion in fifth place in the China Championship. I think it's, it's maybe tough because the Honda maybe we have a better start for sure in every, every time. And we'll see in the race, maybe it should be fun. Uh, I'm not so happy with the car. I have a, still have a lot of problems with oversteer and uh, understeer at the end of the session. So something is very strange in the chassis. Uh, we are now uh, checking the car to see if we can improve for the race because it will be difficult. I think this weekend may be some problem with my car, but the engineer and mechanics uh, push hard for get to the right direction. We improve all the practice all the time. I'm happy. Uh, I will try to push to maximum uh, from the last race. I did my best. I have uh, P3. P1 is a uh, Neve from uh, International and P2 is a uh, Kusui. Uh, both guys is very fast and very good driver, so I did my best already, so P3 is not bad. For the first four laps, it's really good. I was pushing 90%, and when I see the time was like, uh, I still can gain 110, 110, 210, but I think I don't want to race it. So I said, okay, that's good enough for the quality. So the stage is set for the penultimate round of the TCR Asia 2017 series. And in fact, it's the international championship leader, Jean-Carl Varnay of France, leading the way ahead of Kasuri. Sitrai, Moran, Yan, last year's champion. He's in the China championship ahead of Liu, Wang, and Wong. So we've got both the Asia championship and the China championship, a 20-strong field in all. And as well as somewhat of a ringer in Jean-Carl Vernet, who is also racing in the international championship and leads that at the moment. But that 135.80, the fastest time so far around this circuit. Ninth place, Abdul Katir. Now he's racing hard against the man in 12th position, Jasper Thong, the 17-year-old in the Audi. And that'll be a good battle. And then it comes in 13th place, Lo Wang Lai from Malaysia. And a little further down, few more of the Chinese entries, as well as Eric Kwong in 17th position, who's been with TCR Asia all season. So a good strong field and a lot of thinking to do for those in contention for the championship, because the likes of John Carvonet, it doesn't matter where they finish, and already problems for this man, Abdul Katir, the number 23, our engineering man, the man leading the cup competition, is in the pits and will start from the pit lane, not the start he wanted. Varne on the left-hand side, gets away well. Moran stopped. Oh, Diego Moran has stopped on track. Let's hope everybody avoids him, but he didn't get off the line at all. Great start from Tin Tree Tri, who's got ahead of the Frenchman, the international championship leader, and that's a fantastic start for Tin Tree Tri, as he now goes in pursuit of the overall title, and he's in a great position to do it having got the lead from the get-go. Diego Moran, who was also one of the championship contenders, only half a point off Tin Street Try stopped on the grid. We're on board with Jasper Thong now. He got away well, and of course, he'll be thinking about where Abdul Katir has come out on track because Katir had to start from the pit lane. So Thong in a really good position. He's down on points compared to Abdul Katir, but with two rounds to go, including this one, there's a good chance that Thong can catch up, but he's already making some places up here in the number five Audi as they come down the hill. Fantastic circuit, this. 20 meters of elevation changes. You can see this big hill in the background. Slightly narrow, not a lot of places to overtake, but uh, almost perfect for these TCR machinery. And uh, we've got three championships in one this weekend because the international boys are here too. Look at Diego Moran off the start. 
The Ecuadorian just didn't get into gear at all. He got the car going again, but he was lucky not to get uh, collected by anybody else in the field. They were all very wary. Here we are on board with the Ecuadorian. And as the lights went, just nothing. Absolutely zip. But finally, he gets it in gear. But by then, the rest of the field has gone through. So lucky escape for Diego Moran. Now, how quickly can he scythe his way through for the Ligby Molly Ensler team? We're on board with the leader, Tinge retry. But here comes Jean Carvernet, the Frenchman. He dives into the lead at the left-hander as they come across the line. And Tin does not need to worry about jean Carl. He is a wild card, so to speak. He'll be in the international race later in the weekend. And here comes last year's champion, Andy Yan. And Sri Tri doesn't need to worry about him, too. He just needs to worry about where Kasuri is. And Kasuri, right now, is in fourth position. And the race still led by jean Carl Vernet. Got a quick glimpse of Jasper Thong, who of course is competing against Abdul Qatir in the Cup competition, the Asia Cup competition, and he's leading that on track right now with Abdul Qatir starting from the pit lane for our engineering. And as I mentioned, our engineering WS Lai is involved in an incident with the number 26 S Say, who looks as though he could have suspension problems. And let's hope that WS Lai in the 39, here we go. And watch Lai now literally go over the side of the car. And if there's damage to the 39, he could be out of contention for the overall title. Back on board with Diego Moran. And Diego Moran now pushing hard on WS Lai, who looks as though he's got some problems. And Moran has recovered well, having stalled on the line almost. Just didn't get it in gear at all, but he's now scything his way through. There he is in the middle and the thick of it all. And through goes Kasuri, still in fourth position as they cross the line again. Jean Carvonet of France leads the way. But the real attention is Sri Tri leading for the TCR Asia Series for Team Thailand. Man who has three wins. And it's this man, Kantani Kasuri, he wants to beat. Ten and a half points was the gap at the start of the weekend. And you can see it's not a lot on track either between the Honda Civic and the VW, there it is, there's Sri Tri. They've got a China driver of Andy Yan, which is ironically last year's winner in the car behind him, the Liqui Moly Enslat VW. But Andy Yan taking on the brand new Chinese TCR championship this year and doing very well indeed as well, the Hong Kong driver. And as you can see, he's holding off. Kantari Kasiri, who actually had one of his laps in qualifying deleted for exceeding track limits. And that 134.9 was good enough for a front row start, but it could have been faster. And in comes the number 39 of WS Lai, and that is not a planned stop. And he's got bodywork pushing against the tyre by the looks of things. It's game over for the number 26 of SI. He was involved in that uh, incident, and he, of course, in the China Championship. And the battle for third continues to rage on. Through goes Von A. C try, just a few seconds behind him. Then comes Andy Yan in the number 82 China new faster Audi RS3 LMS. Kasuri dropped a place to fifth place, and Diego Moran is up to ninth. So the contenders for the championship, three of them now, and here's what happened to the number 58. He was lucky not to get in more trouble there, but that was KB Low uh, on the China series for HE Racing. And just lost his breaking point, I think, but uh, luckily not hitting anybody else. But it's pretty fast and furious out there right now. But the championship contenders for TCR Asia with two rounds remaining are still Diego Moran in ninth position, Kasuri in fifth, and Tin Sri Tri, who leads the way at the moment, and another incident, this time involving the number 77. And that's Hu Hao of China in the Volkswagen Golf GTI. And there's the 58, slowing down. That's uh, Lokai Bon. We saw him go off earlier. He was at a battle for 13th place with this man, Douglas Koo. Here is Douglas, been a good story for Douglas this year. He's driven very well indeed. There was one overtake by the number 58, but then he slowed right down, as you can see, and pulls to the side and out of the way. And that was the battle for 13th position. Douglas Koo, 
very impressive in the last couple of years. This only the third year of TCR Asia and Douglas from Malaysia signed up right from the start and has been impressive throughout all three years and all three seasons of the series. Back on board with Diego Moran. Diego Moran who led the championship early on. His first season in TCI, he did a bit of TCR over in South America, but this is his first Asian experience and he comes together with a big experience with Jasper Thong, one he didn't need as they come together and onto the grass goes the number 32. And so too does Thong. So Jasper Thong will be absolutely furious because I don't really think he had much to do with that. And that was all Diego Moran. And has Moran slowed down? Well, I don't believe this. Tin Street Tri could be on his own for the title if we're not careful. Uh, because he looks as though he's come off worse. But Tremel there looking very pensive indeed. And well, he might because I've got a feeling that Diego Moran having had a bad start in the first place could be out of this race already and that could really really harm his hopes of staying in contention especially now that Kasuri and Tinsley Tri are still circulating well and in the top four so Jean-Carl Vernet leads the way from Sri Tri Thong is still there in ninth position but in comes Diego Moran. It's over for the number 32. What a dramatic end to the first race here at the Zhejiang circuit. And meanwhile, the two ties are still going at it. Kasuri with some traffic ahead of him. There's Tin Sri Tri. So that's the gap between our two TCR Asia men. So there's three cars between Sri Tri and Kasuri. But Kasuri doesn't need to worry himself. He's pushing hard, as you can see. Just going over the grass for a moment there, but uh, he'll want to get on level terms with Sri Tri because he needs to beat him because every point that Sri Tri takes away from him will add to the finale here at Zhejiang for the 12th round, the final round. And meanwhile, the China Championship is also raging on with the three cars you're looking at. Out of the pit comes Diego Moran. A little too late though, he'll be out of contention and also coming out of the pits, the number 99 in the Asia Cup Championship. That's Alex Liu of the Elegant Racing Team, the number 99. But he'll have lost out to both Abdul Qadir and more importantly, Jasper Thong. And Jasper though had his own problems, so the cup competition is very tight indeed. Now what's happening here? As it looks as though Kasuri catching quickly on Tin Sri Tri, what's the problem with Tin Sri Tri? Both Audis in the China Championship have gone past him and here comes his arch rival, Kasuri. Tin Sri Tri is slowing down and through goes the number 62 and now goes Kasuri back into the championship lead of TCR Asia. And what on earth has happened to the number 79 Honda Civic? Surely not more mechanical gremlins. And while well, this race has every twist and turn for the championship contenders, and another one, as Jasper Thong is in the gravel. He, of course, I just mentioned, was battling with Abdul Qadir and Alex Liu for the uh, cup competition. And I think he's just done that on his own. I think he ran out of brakes. I think he's had a brake failure of some sort because he just went straight on there and he doesn't look too surprised. But he's out of the car and he is out of this race. Round 11 over then for Jasper Thong, but I think the problem with the car probably came when he went through the gravel earlier. And it's certainly going to be an interesting end to this one as we take another look at the TCR Asia Championship leader and leader on track now. Kantadi Kasuri in the number two, Liqui Molly Ensler VW as he goes past one of the China entries. And he's way ahead of Tin Sri Tri now, who had led this race right from the get-go from the start, ahead of Jean Calvone, who now leads the overall race. But Sri Tri has dropped like a stone in the last few laps. Uh, Diego Moran still out on track. And he too struggling to find some sort of form in the closing stages. And I think it's going to be pretty much over. A good battle also between the two Chinese drivers. That's Huang and Andy Yan, and both teammates, of course, for the Audi RS LMS team. And back up to speed is the number 99 for Elegant Racing. That's Alex Liu. So, Diego Moran, disappointment for him in so many ways. He had a terrible start. 
He recovered so brilliantly, then got into a fisticuffs with Jasper Thong, who also went out later. And it's dropped him all the way down to, what, 13th position here in the closing stages. And I don't think he's going to make up there many more. And look as though Douglas Koo's got a problem. Through goes Abdul Katia. Katia still battling for the cup competition, but Douglas Koo of Malaysia slowing right down in the Seat. Almost coming to a stop, but he doesn't pull into the pits. Here's what happened. Well, he outbraked himself. Katia behind him and had to take avoiding action, but does so. Meanwhile, Jean-Carl Vernet, the man who leads the international series with a host of very, very good drivers, is leading by a country mile here now on the final stages of round 11. Coming in as a wild card just to get some practice on the track, more or less. And he's certainly shown he's learnt it well. Look at the gap between himself and the two Chinese drivers, or the Chinese championship drivers. That's Andy Yan and C.H. Wang, both for the new faster Audi team. And then just behind them is Kantadi Kasuri. Meanwhile, Sri Trai is now being hustled by Eric Kay. And Eric, of course, in the Asia Cup. So Sri Trai really, really struggling now. His lap times have gone right off, and he's dropped right down the order. Bitter, bitter disappointment. And Sri Trai better be careful because he could lose the championship here and now if he's not careful. But out goes the number 62 now. The Teamwork Motorsport, Sonny Wong from Hong Kong. Three wheels on his wagon, and 791 goes off. That's uh, another one of the China entries. Kwai Pi Pen in the 791, who had been going well. So <laughs> drama indeed in the closing stages. Shri Trai under pressure now from Abdul Katir, of all people. So Katir has uh, come through, having started from the pit lane. But whatever the problem is with Tin Shri Trai, he is struggling to make the finish. And like I said, every point he loses, it plays into the hands of Kasuri here in the closing stages. Abdul Katia going past the number 21 car of Wang Hao of the China Championship. And here comes the leader, Jean Carl Vanet. He's had an amazing career in Asia, the Frenchman. Runner up at the Macau Grand Prix in Formula 3 in 2009. He's also raced in the Blanc Pan series in Europe as well as Japan GT and of course GT Asia with Bentley. And now back to winning ways. And he's in the International Championship, but he's now a winner in the TCR Asia Series 2. So congratulations to John Carl Vanay. The battle between the two China Championship drivers has gone to the number 82 of Andy Yan, C.H. Wang. His teammate will follow him home. But uh, Kantadi Kasuri wins in TCR Asia with Tin Shri Trai's hopes of staying with him, if not ahead of him, over. One round to go then, and Kasuri has one hand on the trophy. Confirmation then of the result, Jean-Carl Vanet of Teamwork Motorsport wins, ahead of Andy Yan and Terry Wang. Then Kantadi Kasuri, Deng Bo Wei of the China Championship. Further down in sixth place, Eric Kwong of Elegant Racing. And then in seventh, Lo Wang in eighth position for the new faster team. Congratulations then to Jean-Carl Vanet, the winner of round 11. But let's hear from Kantadi Kasuri. Yeah, when, when, when the track, I'm winning this, the, the race and, and winning the, and take the maximum point, it's, 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 it's a good race for me. And with just one round to go, Kantadi Kasuri moves to 175 points after 11 rounds, 23 and a half points ahead of fellow Thai Tin Shri Trai. Diego Moran has 149 points and Lai Wee Singh 137. Well, Abdul Katir may not win the overall championship, but he's not harmed himself in terms of the cup championship as he battles with Jasper Thong. As you can see on the left there, another podium for him. And that means he extends his lead over Jasper Thong to 211 points to Thong's 151 with Eric Kwong on 136. Douglas Koo in fourth on 101. So then just one more round to go from Zhejiang Circuit, which will decide the championships for 2017. Well, round 11 had everything. All sorts of drama throughout, especially for the contenders. 
But Kantani Kasuri is now one hand on the trophy as we head to the final round here at Zhejiang next time out. From me, Jonathan Green, until next time, goodbye for now.